Hey guys, I'm back with another one and I have no idea why I don't talk about this opportunity enough because you can make really good money with this side hustle and get paid the same day. And if you're only available to work on the weekends, you could pick up an extra three to $400 each weekend. And if you have the flexibility to work more, you can make $1,000 or more in the week. But there are some things you have to factor in and I'm going to cover it all. But first, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Whitney Bonds and I find legitimate opportunities that people are doing to make money. I interview them and then I share all the details with you guys so you can get inspired and decide if this is something that you want to do. Now in today's video, we are going to talk about becoming an Instacart shopper and how to make the most money. Now I've got some really good tips for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. And like I said, we are going to cover all the good and the bad so you can decide if this is something that you want to do. All right, so let's first talk about how Instacart works. So Instacart has capitalized on the fact that people like me with three kids would much rather pay someone else to do their grocery shopping for them. So they have created this platform where I can simply order my groceries online and can either pick them up from the store or get them delivered to my house. So when you're working for Instacart, you have two options to make money. You can either be an in-store shopper who fulfills the orders in the store and then hands them off to an Instacart driver, or you can be a full service shopper where you do both. You fulfill the orders in the store and then deliver the groceries to the customer's home. Now in this video, I'm only going to focus on the full service shopper because that's how you can make the most money. Now if you guys want me to do a video on an in-store shopper only, just let me know in the comment section below. Now the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that Instacart delivers in your area. So I'm going to put the link in the description below where you can put your zip code in and see if they deliver it in your area if you're unsure. All right, now the hiring process. The hiring process is quick and easy and it's all done through the app. So first you just need to download the Instacart app and then put in your information. Now if you want to use my referral code, I will put that in the description below if you want to put that in when you're signing up. And then it will take you to the next screen where they'll ask if you are 18 years or older, able to lift 40 pounds or more, and eligible to work in the U.S. If you are, then you proceed to the next screen where you choose if you want to be an in-store shopper or a full service shopper. You'll confirm that you have access to a car, and then they're going to ask you if you have auto insurance that covers Instacart services. So you do want to check that before you go ahead and get started. You'll verify your driver's license, and then once it's verified, Instacart will set you up with your own preloaded Instacart payment card. Now this is going to be the card that you use to purchase groceries. Then you're going to need to sign paperwork and agree to a background check. And then it will take up to 10 days for the background check, but I've seen it done in like two or three days. So it doesn't usually take that long. And once you receive your payment card, your lanyard, and now a mask, once you receive all of that, then they will let you know when you can go ahead and get started. Now let's talk about the pay. Now there are several factors that play a part in how much you can earn. Like if you live in a well-populated area, you're going to have access to more orders, which means you can make more money. Also the amount of hours you work and the types of orders you receive, it all matters. Like you can earn more for batches with a heavier load. So if you had cases of water in your order, you're going to make more money. So it's really hard to say how much you can earn per hour. But when I was mentioning how you can make three to $400 on the weekend, that's after putting about six hours in. And like I said, it strongly depends on where you live, the types of orders you pick and the amount of time that you put in. But it's also good to know that you can get a hundred percent of customer tips. And I've got some really good tips to help you guys maximize your earnings. So make sure you stay tuned. And you would be amazed at how much people tip. So if you're an Instacart shopper watching this video, let me know in the comment section below the most you ever made in a tip. So when you're ready to start making money, all you need to do is open the app and see which batch you want to pick up. And just so you guys know, orders are called batches. That's what they call an Instacart. And this is an example of one right here. Now in these batches, you can see the store location, item count, and then the batch payment. So you want to review all this and assess it to see if this is something that you want to pick up before you actually choose it. Just so you know, the distance is shown from the selected store to the customer's home. And if you want to accept the batch, just swipe right and then get to work. And just so you guys know, there can be more than one order in a batch where you will actually have to deliver them to different houses. So the best way to deal with these is that you want to stay organized. 
So you can either use two baskets or use one large basket and then you can use the individual hand baskets to separate the orders so you can stay organized and don't get the orders confused. The cool thing about Instacart is that you choose if and when you want to work. So you just open the app and see what batches are available and you decide which one you want to pick up if you want to pick it up. Now shoppers are offered batches based on their customer rating and other things like distance, how uh, close you are to the store, delivery time, and if you have an alcohol and prescription certification. Now you can take the quiz on alcohol and prescription deliveries through the app and it will give you access to more batches and sometimes bigger tips. So each quiz takes about 10 minutes and you'll find these in the app under how am I driving. Just go ahead and select that and then improve my skills and lessons and that's where you can find the quizzes. You also want to make sure to check your state's law before applying to deliver alcohol because it's illegal in some states. Now let's talk about how the shopping process works. Once you accept the order, you're going to head over to the store to fulfill the order. Now the app will display your shopping list and you're going to mark off each item as you get through the app and this will update the customers in real time so they can actually track the order with you. Now you're going to want to know if something isn't available and it's just always a good idea to take a picture of replacement items to see if the customer wants that or not. Now you're going to also use the Instacart payment card to purchase these items and they're going to simply deliver it to their house and that's it. Just rinse and repeat. But like I said, we are going to talk about it all. So let's talk about the good and the bad, but we're going to start with the bad first. Now, some of the cons are the customers. So you can have some of the most pleasant people to work with, and then you can have some of the most difficult people. Just dealing with different kinds of people, you'll just never know what you're going to get. And this is just something that you want to be aware of because they can affect your customer rating, which could affect how many batches you have access to. Another con is that you have to see if your auto insurance covers Instacart services. Now, if it doesn't, this could cost you extra money. I've seen where people have had to add an extra $10 to $15 per month to people's insurance when they have added these services. Another potential con is that you are also an independent contractor, so a 1099 employee. So there are no reimbursements for things like gas or wear and tear on your vehicle, but it is important to know that you can write these things off on your taxes. So like the maintenance and repairs, including tire and oil changes, gas, car insurance, and there's so many other things you want to make sure that you guys are tracking all of this so you can actually get some of this money back. So definitely make sure you guys have this app called Hurdler or I cannot even pronounce it, but you want this app because it tracks everything in real time and you can claim the maximum tax deductions. So you want to make sure you have this. I'm going to put it in the description below because I cannot pronounce it and you definitely need it. And speaking of taxes, you're going to want to save at least around 25% of your income because you are an independent contractor, so you're responsible for reporting and filing your own taxes. And last but not least, competition. This is another con because there could be a lot of people in your area trying to do this, which won't leave you with a lot of opportunities to make extra money. So I wouldn't depend on this as a consistent source of income, but just a way to make extra money on the side. Okay, so enough of the cons, let's talk about the pros. And then I'm going to share some of my tips to help you maximize your earnings. Now, Instacart has this thing called Instant Cash Out, where you can cash out anytime you want, but you have to complete at least five batches before you use this tool. This is definitely a pro if you need money right away. And also keep in mind that the money that you're going to get from this is only Instacart payments. This is not your tips because tips can be pending for about three days. So just keep that in mind. Some other pros is that you can get really good exercise doing this shopping for other people. You also are working on your own schedule. You are your own boss, which you really cannot even beat that. And I have friends that have done Uber Eats and Postmates, and they have all said they have made much more with Instacart by far. And also, Instacart does have bonuses, which is another bonus where you can make more money. Now, here is how you can maximize your earnings and some good little known tips for beginners. So you first want to start by taking small batches for at least a few days because these batches are just easier to complete and they will just help you learn the app without getting overwhelmed. Once you are more comfortable with the app, you can go ahead and start taking larger batches and you want to really analyze each batch to see if the earnings, tips, and the distance are even worth your time. Shop stores that you are familiar with. You know, it's easier to shop the same stores because you learn the layout. This makes shopping much faster and can increase your hourly rate. And when you're shopping, just always think about yourself. If you won't buy an item for yourself, you shouldn't buy it for your customers. 
when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about fruit. If it looks bad or vegetables, just don't get it for them. Just take a picture and then show them why, and they'll really appreciate that. You want to communicate as much as you can through words and pictures. And if they don't reply, just give them a call. Also, pay attention to expiration dates. One time I ordered milk and it expired the same day I got it. I was just really upset about that. And when you deliver the items, be sure to smile and act like you're enjoying what you're doing. Doing these things could really result in getting you a bigger tip and it will keep you having a high customer rating. You also want to make sure that you join this Facebook group called Instacart Showers by Steph. This is a great group and she shares the script that she sends to her customers every time before she actually shops and she says that this has been a game changer. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below of her group and the actual script she uses so you guys can just copy and paste and use it too. Now if you find that you really like this and you wanna do this more often, definitely consider getting these things. This one right here is actually required now by Instacart and it's insulated bags. So Instacart recommends these ones right here and they cost $25 but I found a better version that's only $5 at Walmart. So definitely check those out and they will be approved by Instacart. And if you also have signed up for DoorDash, they send you insulated bags that zip. So you can just use those for Instacart as well. You can also consider getting a phone mount to help keep you safe while navigating. You need a portable charger because the app just drains your battery. So make sure you have that. You should also consider getting a lanyard phone holder to keep you from dropping your phone while shopping. You're definitely gonna see why I'm saying this once you get started. And last but not least, definitely consider getting a stair climbing cart or a wagon like these for big orders because it will make delivering groceries to a house or apartment with stairs so much easier, especially for big orders you get that have cases of water or just other heavy items. And you're gonna need to bring them from your car to the house. So if you plan on doing this, definitely consider investing in these because these are all tax write-offs. Just keep that in mind. You can also use other apps simultaneously like Ship, DoorDash, even Amazon Flex to increase your earnings. You know, just find the highest paying order and take that one. Another tip to earn more money is to tell people about it. By referring others to join Instacart, you can earn up to $600 in referrals. So what I would do is just start doing this and then I would show my impressive earnings to my social media networks and I would encourage other people to sign up using my referral link. Now those are the ways that I recommend to maximize your earnings and one last tip as far as what you wear, you can just wear whatever you want, but you wanna be presentable yet comfortable so you can just decide what that looks like. All right, so that's it. So if you think that this sounds like something that you wanna do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then let me know in the comment section. Just say, I want to try this. And if you're looking for some other ways to make money, definitely check out my video I did on 15 side houses that can earn you an extra $1,000 per month or more. Or if you're interested in Amazon Flex, I just did a video on that. I'm telling you everything you need to know before you go ahead and get started with that. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on one of my videos on ways you can make money. All right, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.